Originally, we used a one by one inch piece of mat to trigger the piezo element on the bass pedal. I found that to be too sensitive to exactly where you put the one inch piece of mat, so I came up with an easy method that works all the time. To demonstrate how to do that, let's use this mock-up where that black circle represents the piezo element. Now what we're going to do is take a normal thumbtack and place it in the center of the piezo element with the point facing up. We're going to temporarily secure it with some masking tape so that it doesn't move around. And then we're going to put the bass pedal foot back on by replacing the removable pin. And when the bass pedal foot is securely on, we're going to press down so that the point of the thumbtack goes right into the bottom of the bass pedal foot and marks the correct position for us to drill. And when we take the bass pedal foot off again, we notice that the tack is firmly embedded in the bass pedal foot and has marked the proper position for us to drill. And here I'm taking a pencil to mark that point more clearly so you can see it. So now what we have to do is drill a one quarter inch hole like I've done here that can accept the eraser end of a pencil that's been cut about one half inch down from the ferrule that holds the eraser onto the original pencil. And that eraser that has some give will be used to trigger the piezo element. However, the pencil is just a little bit too large. So what we're gonna do is take a file and we're gonna file down the wooden portion of the piece that we cut off the original pencil until it fits snugly into that one quarter inch hole. That works really well. We'll take that back out, put a little wood glue into the hole so that when we put the eraser end back in, it'll be nice and secure. So let's do that. Put the modified eraser end of the pencil back in that hole. And now let's remount the base pedal foot back onto the base pedal and see how it works. So let's put the pin back in and see how it works. Oh yeah, that works much better. The eraser tip is contacting the center of the piezo element, and if you happen to stomp down too hard, the rubber tip is flexible enough so it's not going to damage that piezo element. This is a much better approach, and I hope you use it when you make your base pedal.